What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow creators? Welcome, Scorpio, to your energy update. This is going to be a short video. It's just going to be whatever source wants to bring to you, what messages source has for you. So please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, set that notification bell so you always know when my next video does come out. Make sure you guys do check out my other videos and positivity and also my pick a card readings that I have when it is not your zodiac reading so thank you guys for spending some time with becky's house of cards with that being said let's get to shuffling all right so what messages do you have for scorpio source what messages do you want to pass on to scorpio what would you like to say to scorpio what messages do you have for scorpio source how can we help out scorpio what does Scorpio need to know? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Thank you, Source. Alright. What would you like to tell Scorpio, Source? Thank you. What else do you want to tell Scorpio? One card at a time, please. Okay. What else would you like to tell Scorpio? Okay, thank you, Source. Quick and sweet. What do we got on the bottom of the deck? We've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is in your headspace, Scorpio. Alright, well, let's get into it. Let's see what we got. We've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. The sun in the reverse and the page of swords in the upright. Okay. So currently you're in an energy where you feel like somebody got money that they weren't deserving. You felt like you were the one that earned it. You felt like you were the one that worked hard for it. And yet it feels like somebody else is coming in and taking your hard earned money, which is odd because unless they're doing the exact same thing as you like I don't really you know it could have been an inheritance that you feel was unrightfully distributed it could be a percentage of work that you feel was unrightly distributed you are coming from a place of anger and frustration and jealousy and Scorpio, I love you guys. You guys are very deep signs, but sometimes you do get very, very jealous. And you get very, very stuck in that jealousy. And right now, what you're not really seeing is that you're being distracted by the things that don't really need your attention. Right? It's like... You're being... Oh, okay. I hear revenge... <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of uh, really loud revenge. Uh, it's like you are really trying to figure out how you can one up somebody. And it could be in the workplace. It doesn't have to be. This could be somebody that you just knew. Uh, somebody that you felt really close to. This is somebody that maybe you even had an attraction to and you felt like you could you you could talk to, but you always had to guard yourself in every which way. And so you're getting lost. It's almost like in daydreaming about how you can get back at this person. And it is overwhelming you. It's putting you in a very weird space. It's putting you in a space where you're being very secretive about a lot of things. How you feel, what you want to do, how you want to create, how you want to move forward. And instead, you kind of come at everybody in your circle from this place of this hurt that you're feeling. I hear feeling left out. <sighs> the 
there's a lot of negativity that surrounds us. Like when you communicate, it, it's it's like you always communicate about this situation in some way, shape, or form. Like even if you're being your mysterious Scorpio self, Scorpion, <laughs> hidden in the depths of the the ground, right? What it is is you're you're still coming from a place of mysteriousness. So it's like you mask what it is that is really going on and you're hoping that people will understand that or at least give you some sort of guidance on that and uh, and help you move beyond where you're stuck at so you're coming from this area of trying to really find guidance without telling anybody what's truly going on. However, every time you seek guidance, it is on this specific situation. Now, for some of you, this was a sexual connection or you wanted it to be a sexual connection. And it's kind of put you in a very spiteful place. And I feel like what happened is that somehow this connection kind of got severed. And so now you're wondering, like, what happened? Where is it that we, we went wrong? Or where is it that I went wrong? Or where is it that they went wrong? And it's like you want to blame this person, but at the same time you're trying to figure out how. This could be somebody doing this to you. It doesn't have to be. But again, it's take it as it resonates. So, right now, you're more worried about trying to figure out a way to communicate with this situation or this person. And yet, it's just repeating itself. This is a repetitious cycle. 1010 is a very powerful number for you. And it's just showing you that right now you're not able to close this cycle. Like you're, you're very much repeating this cycle and you're trying to figure out how not to. But it seems to keep appearing in your life. I'm hearing cornered in. I feel cornered. And the minute you get cornered, Scorpio, you start to kind of lash out at people. Because you don't like to be put in the corner. You don't like to be put in a, an area of <sighs> feeling trapped. And so you're very unsure right now what direction to take. You're stuck in the past thinking about this situation time and time again. Like I feel like you're constantly in the past thinking about this. Wishing and hoping something else had happened. Maybe that you did have a sexual relationship with this person. Or that you had an actual relationship with this person. Or that you had uh, more you know, contact with this person. Like, it's all you can think about. And so it's giving you this anxiety in the future. Like, if I move forward in the future, I'm just going to keep repeating this over and over again. And this is a heavy energy to be in. You're not... You're not coming from stability. You're coming from a place of fear and negativity. And so it's hard to interject any kind of positivity into this when you're coming from such negativity and anger and spite, resentment. I think that you did care about this. You just had no idea how to tell them about it. And now, because you didn't tell them how you felt or how you know, the depths of what you felt. I think you at one point thought that you needed to do nothing and this person should have just understood how you felt. And that's what you think about too. It's like, is that true? But but all you can think about is the money that you don't have right now. All you can think about is the money that you feel like they have made you lose. All you can think about is the money that's surrounding this situation.
And so you're really not going anywhere. It's 10 minutes on the clock. So 10 is a powerful number for you because that's talking about completing the cycle and allowing your seeds to go and bear fruit into the ground, right? Having enjoyed the fruits of your labor, well, you know, as bad as this sounds, you are enjoying the fruits of your labor. What labor you did or didn't put in. That's why you're in this space right now. And so when you honor and acknowledge that maybe you didn't come at this the way that you would wanted to or hoped to, maybe then you'll be able to complete the cycle and close it entirely and see it from a different perspective. Not such a childish way. Okay? Yeah. See? We've got prosperity coming out. Peacock. So when this card flipped over, I immediately heard you showed your true colors and you didn't like them. And this is 39 cards, so this is, this is 12, right? It breaks into 12 saying that your angels are with you. You have guidance. Okay, but look at, look at how this picture shows here. There's a peacock here and a peacock here, and it kind of looks like the the Pisces fish, right? Like that, that circular motion. But it's creating a cycle around this face. When one stops, another begins, right? Well, are you going to make the new one a different type of cycle to go into? Or are you going to keep repeating the one you just came out of? You know, you're wondering what this was. And it was something that was prosperous. You were wondering what happened, but... I think what happened was there's a lot of fear connected to not only your part of it, but whatever the other situation is too, there's a lot of fear and anxiety attached to that. And I think together it just kind of turned into what it is now. And now you're finding yourself being only solely focused on the material side of things. And this could be a materialization of the relationship itself. But you're very much in this place of thinking only of how this could have gone rather than seeing it for how it did go and making a change from there let's get a cosmic soul card i'm going to read this one to you guys what cosmic soul card does scorpio need to move along their journey source what cosmic soul card is going to help scorpio along their journey how can we help out scorpio with the cosmic soul card card please source be open to your guidance scorpio it's okay like this doesn't make you a bad person it doesn't make the situation a bad situation it makes it a learning situation and that's that's where the growth comes from it's like sometimes things don't happen the way that we want them to because there's something to learn something to find out about ourselves how can we look in the mirror and learn what true prosperity is to us not what prosperity means to other people. Not the money side of things. The inner side of things. Yeah, you guys are really not open to it. I'm going to shuffle it and see if that makes a difference. One card, please. Alright, this one. Okay, it was on the bottom of the deck. That just cracks me up. Unconditional love. This is, and seven coming out again. So seven's a powerful number for you. This is about learning to love yourself, Scorpio. Love yourself for who you are and love yourself entirely, you know, without condition. I feel like you beat yourself up a lot because of this situation. And then because you beat yourself up, it makes you feel so terrible. And so you want to blame that other person, but you know, it's irrational. It's like, if I can find blame in this person and put it on them, then I don't have to actually look at what it is that I brought to the situation. And I think that's really hard because sometimes we don't want to. I know there's times when I felt like it was everybody else's problem and it wasn't mine and I didn't want to take responsibility. But at the end of the day, in any situation that we have, it takes, there's two sides. And so if you remember that there's two sides and remember that it could have just honestly been a misunderstanding, 
And that's okay because that that's where prosperity comes from, right? Is learning that. This is opening your heart and expanding your mind. Look at this picture. Letting your heart shine while your mind expands. Sometimes what we used to believe, it's not really serving us. And so we have to let that go. So let me read this card to you guys. Here we go. The ultimate lesson all of us have to learn is unconditional love, which includes not only others, but ourselves as well. That's from Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. It says, you have a choice between two doors, unconditional love and conditional love. Unconditional love is to love without judgment, conditions, expectations, and demands. It is love that stems from the heart space and is comprised completely of pure love, forgiveness, and compassion. And it's funny because compassion, the number 10 card is on the bottom of the deck here. Okay, 10 again, like 10 is such a powerful number for you guys. Like This is, oh my goodness, okay. Conditional love is to love with conditions, expectations, attachment, fear, and judgments. Love is given and received freely as long as the conditions of love contract are being met. When others fail to meet the requirements of the love contract, love is lost and replaced with issues of fear, distrust, and doubts. To have unconditional love is to first love yourself entirely. When you can completely love yourself with all your imperfections, you will have greater love and compassion towards others. If you are in a space where your love is conditional, ask yourself, from where does this love stem? Most often, you will find limiting thoughts and beliefs lingering in your subconsciousness. Still deeper, you may want to uncover the wounded child within you. It is to this child that love, understanding, and compassion must be shared. Now that you see the inner wounds within you with the gentleness of love, you are better able to see the wounded child within others. You will clearly see the part in them that is the most in the most need of love. This does not mean that you stay in a situation that does not serve your highest good. Sometimes loving unconditionally means having to walk away. Your affirmation is, I love all faucets of myself and send any hurt or wounds within me love and compassion. And you need to open your sacral and your heart chakra. There's power here. This is, you have just come from a place of misunderstanding. That's all. It might be easier to blame another person in this, but at the end of the day, you're the one that's in control of how you feel. No one can make you feel any one way if you don't want to feel that way. Okay? You guys are powerful and strong, and I know that you're going to get through this. I know that you're going to do the right thing for you. You're the one that has the choice in this. Nobody can choose for you, okay? Even when you go to these people and ask them and communicate to them and try to get guidance from them, at the end of the day, you're giving them your power. You're saying that they know how to handle your life better than you do, but you're the one that lives your life, Scorpio. Allow your power to come through and make your own damn decision for yourself. All right? Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video goes live. Make sure you check out my other videos, guys. And with that being said, go forth boldly, my fellow Scorpions, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Becky's out of the house. Thank you for joining Becky's House of Cards. Until next time, y'all, peace out. Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.